Good morning, afternoon, or evening, my dear Yoga TXers. Welcome again to my little cabin here in San Jose del Pacifico in Mexico. Bienvenidos. Yo estoy muy feliz. I'm very happy to practice with you today. So, yo estoy feliz para practicar contigo hoy. <laughs> Soon I want to do an entire practice in Spanish. I need to be practicing much, much more. So today's practice is, of course, uh, very near and dear to me. I share with you what I do on a regular basis. And so this for me is kind of my zap uh, of energetic bliss in this yoga practice today with how I handle uh, when I have a lot of energy inside, like when I've got lots uh, kind of stored and blocked and I'm needing to release, this is the kind of practice that I would do. And so driving up to the mountains yesterday, I was on the motorcycle for three and a half hours on these windy, windy roads and the stomach, you know, gets a little bit tense. The eyes get a little bit tired. You can get a bit of a migraine when you're traveling like that a lot. And so there was all this, all this energy stored in my body that wasn't released because I got here and uh, it was evening time and so it was time to rest. And so now in my morning practice, <clears throat> what I offer for you, and especially if it feels resonant for you today, is if you're feeling like this blockage, like there's something in you that's wanting to release and expand and be big, and this is the practice for you. And if not, uh, if you're already feeling that way, then let's just have some more expansion. We can always have more expansion, yeah? So think of this as your morning uh, tea or your morning coffee or whatever it is that gets you like moving and grooving in the morning. And we're going to start standing at the front of the yoga mat. Or in my case, the front of the fireplace on the blanket. <laughs> so bring the hands down alongside the body. Ground your feet into the earth. Let the chest be nice and open. And come up onto the tiptoes and drop the heels on the ground heavy. Yeah. Tiptoes, drop. Tiptoes, drop. Tiptoes, drop. Depending on what kind of floor you're on, you'll decide how hard you want to drop the heels. But we're moving energy up through the body, through the meridians, through the myofascial lines, and we're waking things up. So you can get your arms involved can kind of shrug the shoulders and let the arms drop. You can even let out a grunt on the exhale. Let's do five more. All right, so come into standing still. Let the knees slightly be bent like a little spring in the step. Palms shining forward. Let the brow and the jaw relax. And then take some circles with the jaw, like you're waking up in the morning yawning. Make some funny faces. And really, really open the mouth up wide. You know, it looks a little funny. Our jaw carries a lot of tension. So let's release. Move in opposite directions. And come back into center. Open the eyes. Take an inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. I can actually touch the rafter. Never does that happen for me being so short. Inhale, reach up. Hello, roof. Exhale, hands to heart center. <clears throat> Last one. Inhale, reach up. Hola, techo. Exhale, fold forward. Hola, piso. Hello, floor. <laughs> Inhale, come up halfway, hands to shins. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to a plank position. So top of a push-up, stay here. Press through the palms, slightly rounding the upper back. Pull the belly in. So really engaging the core here. I can hear the men on my roof. I've run out of water in my cabin, so they're trying to get me some water. Take another inhale. Exhale, knees to the earth, chest to the earth. Keep the hips up high. Inhale, slide forward onto the belly. Open the heart space, cobra pose. Exhale, hips to heels. Tuck the toes, press back, downward facing dog. 
So first downward facing dog of the practice, press the heels towards the earth, slight bend in your knees, get the hips up high. Pull the shoulders up as well, away from the ears. And slowly walk the feet forward to meet the hands. Take your time. And let's inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing, reach up. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach. And exhale, bow. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to plank position. Pause here again. Slight rounding of the upper back, pull the belly in. We stay here for some breaths, building up that heat in the body. Straight line of energy from the crown back through the heels. Take an inhale. On the exhale, come down halfway this time, bend the elbows and by the ribs. Inhale, slide forward to the tops of the feet, open your heart space, thighs are lifted. On the exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, slowly walk the feet forward to meet the hands, take your time. Inhale, come up halfway. And exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, reach up. And exhale, hands to heart. One more of these, Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, reach. And exhale, bow, slight bend in the knees. Inhale, halfway, mitad. Exhale, fold, plant the hands to the floor, the piso, step back to plank position, pause here. I like to throw in my Spanish words. Connecting with my Mexican roots. <laughs> Many of you might not know this about me, but my father is from Guadalajara, actualmente. But I never learned Spanish with my family growing up, so now is my time. Take an inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows, come down halfway. Inhale forward to the tops of the feet, open the heart space. And exhale, tuck the toes, press the hips back and up. Downward facing dog. Walk the feet halfway up the mat, take your time. Bring the big toes closer together, bend the knees deeply and reach the arms up, sink into a chair pose, Ukatasana. Shoulders down the back. And you can find kind of little pulses here. So we're turning the heat up in the thighs, heels are grounded into the earth. Take an inhale. On the exhale, bend the elbows, open the heart space, stand up straight back bend. Inhale, sink the hips, sweep the arms up, reach up. Exhale, straighten, bend the elbows, open the heart space. Inhale, sink the hips, chair pose, reach up. Exhale, stand, back bend. Inhale, bend the knees, reach up. Exhale, stand, bend the elbows, wave the chest open. Inhale, chair. Exhale, stand, back bend. Inhale, chair. Exhale, stand, back bend. Inhale, reach the arms up, sink the hips. And exhale, fold forward, hands to the earth. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold, plant the hands. Walk the hands a little bit forward, feet back, plank pose once again. Now, bring the weight into the right hand. Stack the left hip on top of the right. Stretch the left arm up. Coming into side plank, or fancy Sanskrit word for it, Vajustasana. Bend the left knee overhead. With grace and ease, <laughs> if you fall out of it, it's completely fine. With balance, look towards the floor. Step the left foot forward by the left right hand. Low lunge. Reach the arms up. Yeah, it gets a little tricky, huh? <laughs> Sink into the left knee. 
Take an inhale. Exhale, bring the hands to the other. Straighten the left leg, bring the left toes up, and bend the right knee back behind you, kind of like a runner's lunge. You're about to take off. Pulse the hips. Can pretend like you are a track star here looking forward. What are you running for? What are you running from? Hands to the earth, bend the left knee, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale forward to a plank. Exhale, weight into the left hand, stack the right hip on top of the left, right arm reaches up. Bend the right knee overhead, pause here. Take an inhale. Look at the earth, bring the right hand down, right foot forward into that lunge. <clears throat> Reach the arms up. Very good. Take an inhale. Exhale, hands to the earth, straighten the right leg, right toes up, bend the left knee. Tiny pulses of the hip back. Take an inhale, bend into the right knee. Place the hands down, step back, downward facing dog. Slowly walk the hands to meet the feet, take your time. Forward fold here. Take the feet slightly apart, take a hold of opposite elbows and just move from side to side. Take hands to the earth, slight bend in the knees. Find a little bounce in the knees as you're folded. Slowly begin to roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. Your arms begin to shake, move from side to side, kind of like you're a dancing skeleton waking up in the morning. Just a bag of bones. Head comes up last. And continue this little shake. Can move from side to side. If you've done classes with me before, you've probably shaken. <laughs> Flick the hands out. Arms can begin to reach up as you're flicking the hands and we are just moving energy again. So we might feel a little silly. Bring the hands down and let out some sighs on the exhale. Two more. And comes to standing still. Let the shoulders relax and just notice what it feels like when you let your body do these silly movements, expelling energy. Sometimes it feels silly as a human, but actually many animals have much more stable nervous systems than us because when they you know, come into crisis or hardship, they immediately shake the body or they make sounds or they ravage around or roll on the ground. And as humans, our left brain says, you're strong, keep it in, don't show anybody. And so we keep that nervous energy, that anxious energy in the body. So this is beautiful for shaking it off. All right, open the eyes, inhale, reach up. And exhale, bow forward, slight bend in the knees. Bring hands to lower back, make a fist. Press the fist up behind you, fold in. So maybe a bigger bend in the knees here. And go of the bind. Take an inhale, come up halfway. Keep the right hand planted. <clears throat> stretch the left arm up and bend the right knee. So right hand planted, right knee is bent. Your left arm is stretching up. And maybe the left hand comes back around the hips and wraps into the internal part of the right thigh. Maybe not, maybe you just keep the left arm up. Take an inhale. Exhale, press into the right foot, come up all the way to standing. Reach the right arm up, twist to the left. Take an inhale, reach both arms up. 
And exhale, bow down, slight bend in the knees. Inhale, bend the left knee, left fingertips on the earth, right arm reaching up. Maybe the right hand wraps down behind the left thigh or in front of the left thigh, sorry. And I'll do this side with the right arm up so you can see the difference on an inhale. On the exhale, stand all the way up, reach the right arm down the back left thigh, left arm stretching up and over, getting a nice side body stretch in the left side of your body. Take an inhale. And an exhale. Inhale, both arms reach up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Take the feet wider apart, as wide as the yoga mat. Bend in the knees, hands stay at the heart. Sink the hips down, we come into our yogi squat. Bring the hands out in front of you onto the fingertips. And just move from side to side. Come onto the tiptoes. Get a little creative, maybe one arm stretches back as you twist from side to side. We're opening the hips here, opening the shoulders. Maybe one of the arms reaches up and over to get a lateral stretch. Get creative here. Explore your body. Notice what feels good to release any tension. Notice and also sense into what part of your body you carry the most tension. So where is their unease? Two more breaths. And come back to center. Let's go ahead and bring the hands back behind you. Sink down onto the seat. Bring the feet in front of you. Take a hold of the shins and let the head drop in between the knees. Egg asana. <laughs> this is what I hear people call this sometimes. Rocking from side to side a little bit. Let the back of your neck grow long. And our final posture here in our little zap of energy practice. Allows us to ground here, really feeling the support of the earth beneath us, but also to nurture ourselves, to ground ourselves. Lift the chest. And come into a seat. So we'll end our practice today with a very short mindfulness practice. Let the hands rest on the knees, sitting up nice and tall. And really feel the inhalation move from the belly up through the rib cage and up across the chest. So nice big belly expansion on the inhale, like your belly swelling up with air. And let it not be forced. Don't push more than it needs to be. The exhalation is nice and smooth as well, both from the nostrils. And really what we need in those moments of anxiousness, long road trips, long day at work, hard moments with our children or our lovers, our husbands, our wives, our parents, is our breath. We just need to sit and come into that full yogic breath. So remember the inhalation starts with the belly, the belly expands, it moves up through the rib cage across the chest and then smoothly exhales through the nostrils as everything deflates. So how much life force can you take in? Let's take five more big expanding breaths here to ground us, to release any more of that nervous energy that might be in the body. Bring the hands to heart center, bowing head to heart. And this beautiful quote that I actually heard yesterday on 
a podcast that I was listening to while driving my motorcycle. Yes, I know, not the safest. One earbud was out. Was that the problem is also the solution. So meaning if you come to the yoga mat because the mind is busy, because the body hurts, because there is confusion, and the problem is also the solution. The problem must be a part of the solution. The mind must be a part of the solution. The body must be a part of the solution. Habits must be a part of the solution. So how do we turn this problem that we might have into a solution if there is even indeed a problem? And just breathing in the intention here that you have all the power, intelligence, wisdom that you need in order to come to the solution that you are looking for. With love and grace and ease as you move into your challenges and you move through them, I say namaste. Thank you, dear yogis, my Yoga TX family. Thank you for being here with me on the mat today. I hope that you are feeling a bit more refreshed. And remember to subscribe down below to practice with me each week or with our other wonderful instructors. And there are all my socials down below as well. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day, evening, week, month, all the things. Mwah! <laughs>